My fellow Americans, it's me, your president, John Hang. <laughs> gotcha! This is the tyrant, everybody, coming to you from my studio in uh, my house on a couch. Uh, just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit about Fallout 4. Now, I was a huge fan of Fallout 3. You're seeing me play it right now. Um, loved the game. It was one of my favorite games of all time. So when Fallout 4 was announced, I was understandably near catatonic with joy. But there are some problems with Fallout 3 and with Fallout New Vegas. There were, you know, of course, with any game, any game, and especially games that big, you're going to have problems. You're going to have issues. And I created, I'm creating this series specifically to talk about the problems that these games, that Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas had, and ways we think we could make it better. Or maybe it's not a problem, you know? My entire point for this for these this series of videos that I'm going to be making is a discussion. I want, I know I don't have many subscribers, but I want to get as many people in here, as many opinions as I can, talking about the games and about ways to make the games better. That's the purpose of this video, of these series of videos that I'm going to be putting out uh, until I run out of ideas or until Fallout, uh, Fallout 4 drops on November 10th. If you haven't seen the E3 notes, you guys should check those out right now because there's a ton of good stuff in there. Anyway, the topic I'd like to talk about today is skill progression and perks. Now, right now, the only information we have about Fallout 4 is that it does have the same special system that... Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas use, where, you know, strength, intelligence, per, uh, perception, dexterity, or agility, all that sort of thing. Now, there's one skill in there in particular that I want to talk about, and that skill is uh, intelligence. Now, the problem with intelligence in Fallout 3 was that specking into intelligence gave you free skill points. You know, you gained an extra skill point every level, every level for every point you put into intelligence. And... What this ended up doing is intelligence became the most important special skill. It became the most important out of all of them because you could compensate for your failings in other skills by having high intelligence because it allowed you to put more points into your skills. And then in New Vegas, they changed this slightly. They uh, readjusted it so that it only gave you half a skill point, basically, per intelligence point that you had. Now, in my opinion... That is not enough. Intelligence, I would still spec 9 into intelligence on every single character, which should not be a thing that's happening. What I'd want to see is I'd want that almost removed. I mean, maybe if you go to like to like uh, 0.1 or something, something small where you just get, maybe point one's a little too small, but where you just get a tiny bit of extra skill points, that'd be fine. But what I'd want to see more is more ways intelligence helps you in the environment. You know, maybe it, a high intelligence allows you, gives you more information about enemies or more information about specific things or helps you with crafting because there's going to be a lot of crafting in Fallout 4. That's where I want to see intelligence go and skill points go. And then uh, another thing that I want to talk about is perks. Now, perks in Fallout 3 you got a perk every single level. And what happened was, by level 20, you had a lot of perks. And a lot of perks means a lot of power. So at level 20, and even more so if you had the DLC for level 30, you were pretty unstoppable. You kind of face-rolled almost anything that you wanted to kill. And they remedied this, sort of, in Fallout New Vegas. In Fallout New Vegas, they said, okay, we didn't like the fact that players are so strong, we're going to change it so you can only take a perk every other level. Now, this was nice, but the problem with this was that that ding doesn't feel as sweet when you're not getting a perk, you know? It's sort of like, yeah, I get to put some points and some stats, and that's kind of cool, but you just, you don't feel as good, you know? It doesn't, that level up loses its, its awesomeness, some of its awesomeness, and I didn't like that. What I'd like to see from Fallout 4 is I want to perk every level, but I want more sort of line item perks. Like if you look at D&D or if you look at Fallout, or not Fallout, Far Cry 3, the way they did perks in those, there are some perks that only help you out in very circumstantial situations. For instance, uh, Far Cry 3 had a perk that was literally just, if you're on a zipline, you can now use a gun. When are you going to use that? 
I mean, you're going to use it because it's fun, and that's about it. So I'd like to see more perks like that. More perks that are small and add to your character development, because the number one thing that we should be focusing on, or at least that I focus on in Fallout, is character development. I want all my characters to be different, and that's why skill differentiation, and I don't want, you know, a million skill points. I don't want to have to spec into one stat that's overpowered, and I don't want to have too many perks and I don't want to have too few perks. Now I'm running out of space in the footage that I have uh, already recorded, so I'm going to cut the video, I'm going to stop the video here, but I'm really looking forward to the kind of discussion we can get going down in the comments. I will be reading all of them. Let me do a quick outro here and I uh, hope to see you in the comments. If you want to leave a like, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, always appreciate it and we'll be making more of these. This is The Tyrant, signing off. Good night everybody.